What's it like to now be, you know, having this, you know, long history of, of loving music and playing music? What's it like to see your granddaughter being a professional musician traveling around the world with a band? Well, she keeps playing. This These declarations have to be reduced in their weight because she's our grandchild. Everything no, they say don't. about her, you, no, they don't. you can discount it. <laughs> okay. But she keeps playing in better and better circles. Night before last, she accompanied Dan, uh, Peter Rowan. Mm-hmm. And uh, she keeps playing in better and better circles, and we go here. We go to hear her in better and better circles, and we've never been anywhere yet that she wasn't better than the rest of them. Wow! <laughs> when she was young, you know, she heard it at our house. Her other grandfather's family sang a lot, mm-hmm. so when she was around those people, she heard it there. We saw her potential early. You just know. And I kept telling her mother, I started asking all of our musician friends in the Lexington area, who are the best fiddle teachers Mm -hmm. down here? And every, there was no doubt it was Amy and Daniel Carwile. And I was told there's a waiting list to get in their classes. Mm -hmm. So I kept telling Ella's mother, you need to contact them, get her in fiddle class. She didn't see the urgency in this or something. She never did. So I took Ellen, her sister Elizabeth, to Harrodsburg for a a St. Patrick's Day show. And Amy and Daniel Carwile were there. That's the first time I ever met them. So I proceed to give Amy my daughter-in-law's phone number (laughs) and said, will you please contact her? Mm -hmm. And... Upon that, I think Ella started classes with them when she was about, she was still five when she started playing. Wow. But Amy, they start out with Amy, and I would go down there. Anytime Amy wanted uh, Ella to attend some extracurricular thing, I got called to take her. Amy would like, she just gets it. I just can't believe it. she just gets it. Yeah. And that she was taught by the Suzuki method, mm-hmm. which I'm sure you're familiar with. Yeah. Because I know you have children that are talented yeah. singers or yep. musicians. And uh, she auditioned to go to SCAPA and got in, started mm-hmm. there. So then for several years, we attended SCAPA Orchestra Concerts, Mm -hmm. Lafayette Orchestra Concerts, Central Kentucky (laughs) Youth youth Concerts, which she mastered all of that. But her love was always the old time. Yep. Because I also, I started taking them to Cowan Creek. I think she was seven or getting ready to turn seven and Elizabeth was. Now, Elizabeth is a very... Talented musician also. Okay. But being two years younger than Ella, she didn't want to compete with her. Yeah. She she can play the banjo. So she started kind of playing the banjo more than the fiddle to be different. But she would get frustrated because Ella was better. And we would try to explain that's because Ella's been doing it two years more than you have. (laughs) Exactly. So finally she discovered... That she could dance and yeah, uh, and Ella couldn't as well as she did. So she go. started dancing, but Larry her. can still hum any tune to her, <laughs> and she can play it. 